first, we'll just start by taking a deep breath, deep inhale, deep exhale. Allow your eyes to gently close if you are comfortable with your eyes closed. It's okay to look down at your hands if you're not. Continue taking deep breaths, filling your lungs to the brim. Find a comfortable position in your chair. Just find what feels good to you. Begin this meditation simply by observing. Simply notice what is there physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. Scan your body for any tension, soreness, pain, and be present with any emotions you notice. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Another deep breath in, deep breath out. Deep breath in, deep breath out. In a safe, relaxed, and peaceful state, reflect on all of the things you're grateful for. Remember a time someone has been kind, generous, or loving. Remember a time you have been surrounded by beauty, sunshine, trees, the ocean, or lake. Visualize who and what you are grateful for. Take a moment to really reflect on the image and feeling. If you are having a difficult time finding something or someone to be grateful for, try to remember something simple, such as enjoying a tasty fruit or a cold drink of clean water. As each gratitude appears, visualize yourself saying the words, thank you. Thank you for the many blessings I've been bestowed with. May these blessings multiply as I continue to notice and give thanks for them. Notice where in your body the feeling is. Do you feel gratitude in your heart area? Now allow the feeling of deep gratitude to grow. You can remain in this relaxed state as long as you wish. Take a deep inhale, deep exhale, deep inhale, deep exhale. Another deep inhale, deep exhale. When you are ready, you may gently blink your eyes open and keep with you the feeling of gratitude throughout your day. Think about anything from your past that you want to let go of and think about what you want more of in your future. Look up the image so you can see an example. As you work on your own healing hands, ask yourself, which hand do you want to hold on to? And think about what you want to keep in your life. The right hand is going to hold words, pictures, symbols, everything in your life that you want more of, you're inviting into your life. Then think about what you want to let go of, what no longer serves you, um, what's no longer needed. Think about what's the hardest to hold on to, what's the hardest to let go of. And how strong are the boundaries between the two? And if you are able to make these changes to truly let go of some things that might still be coming up from your past, how will your life change as a result? And remember, carrying the past is carrying energy 
of a time that no longer exists. And then reflect, what are the things you need to do in order to move towards what you created? And you can keep this artwork, you can keep this as a guide to help remind you of what is important for you. I'm gonna hold the exercise up one more time. And as you work on these, try to think about how it feels when you use any material that you're currently using and let yourself become immersed in the art making and being in the state of flow, being in that zone state. And for those of you that are working on the art exercise, uh, once the blog goes up, I imagine there will be some areas for comments. Then feel free to post a picture of what you created and share how the exercise made you feel. <laughs>